Hi there! Welcome to the video on configuring your system. In this video, we're going to talk about how to customize Function Point. To do that, we'll head to the Admin area. You can use the menu or just click Admin to see the options on one page. Access to this area depends on your permissions. We're just going to cover the highlights here. In most cases, you can leave the defaults and your consultant can help you with the other stuff. Let's start with System Preferences. In the Branding tab, you can change your top banner image. You can also change the look and feel of the client portal if you subscribe to it. In the Replace tab, you can change the wording in the modules on the navbar. For example, you might want to call briefs, requests, or schedules, timelines. In Function Point, a project is a group of related deliverables. Some agencies like to call those campaigns. Click Submit when you're done and refresh the page to see your changes. In the Login tab, you can adjust your password security settings. You can use the breadcrumb in the top left corner of your screen to navigate back to the main admin page. In Office Preferences, you can set your accounting package. To change it, click Edit Details. If you're not ready to integrate accounting yet, make sure it's set to Manual Entry. In Printing Preferences, you can customize the look and feel of your estimates, invoices, briefs, and other printouts. You can upload a logo, and that'll apply by default to all the printouts in your system. If you want more elaborate branding, maybe you have a letterhead with a custom header and footer, for example, you can go into Brand Templates. Click Add a Brand Template and upload a PDF background. To customize a printout, in the Standard Printouts tab, click the Copy icon next to the printout name. Then, click Create, and you'll see the options for that printout. Click any of its sections to modify them. To apply a brand template, click Show Details and choose the template. To make your changes live, click Approve and Publish. If you charge taxes, you can set those up here. I won't go into detail on that right now, but if it's something you need, your consultant can help. One of my favorite areas of the system is List Maintenance. This is where you can customize 99% of the dropdowns in Function Point. All your lists are on the left. To add or remove things, click the list name. Let's say, for example, I want to add training video as a type of job I sometimes do. I'll click Estimate and Job Type, then click Add New and type Training Video. I'm also going to say I want this list to be alphabetical, so I'll click Order Alphabetically on Save, and then click Save. Now, when I want to add a job, I can label that job as a training video. Another thing you might want to do is add custom fields to your company's or contacts details pages. For example, let's say I want to track the number of employees my clients have. In the custom field name box, I'll type number of employees. Under custom field type, I'll choose text because it's something I want people to type in. Then I'll click submit. The next step is to say whether I want to use that field for companies or contacts. To do that, Click Assign Fields to Sections. In the Custom Field section drop-down, I'll leave Company Table selected because I want my field to go on the Company Details pages. If I wanted to add it to Contacts instead, I could choose Contact Table. In the Custom Field Name drop-down, I'll choose the field I just created and then click Add Field. Now, if I go to a Company Details page and click Edit Details, I'll be able to populate that field. You can search by your custom fields and pull reports for them. The last thing I want to cover in detail is the work calendar. This is where you set availability to help manage resources. In the Office Hours tab, you can set default work hours for everyone. To give people 8 hours a day, 5 days a week, click Carry Hours to All Office Staff. Below that, you can add holidays. In the Staff Hours tab, you can customize hours for specific people. Let's say Daniel only works four hours on Fridays, for example. I can type that in the Manage Staff Working Hours area. If he's got any vacations coming up, I can put those in the area below. Then, when I look at my resource allocation, I can see my staff with their default eight hours a day and Daniel with his half days on Fridays. In Service and Expense Management, you can customize line items for tracking time and expenses. Your consultant can help you with that structure. 
In Rate and Staff Management, you can set default rates. You can also set permissions for your staff. Under Feature Management, you can make templates for briefs, notes, and emails. And finally, Alert Management is where you define how the system communicates with staff. Your consultant will explore those areas with you in more detail as you go through the onboarding program. We'll leave it there for now, but if you'd like to know more, our training site has documents covering all aspects of the system. Just mouse over the Help button and click Training.